You know what fun is. Okay, one, two, three. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Okay, cool. So my name is Jacqueline Jensen. I'm the community evangelist for a company called PictoChart. Um, has anyone ever used PictoChart? We invited some of our users here tonight. I'll raise your hand. I know the users are here. Maybe not. Okay. So um, we are a place where you can go to create infographics. So we have lots of people using the product, people like marketers, PR people, journalists, educators, real estate agents, all kind of different people. So this is PictoChart. Um, and like Eugene said, we're based um, in an island in Malaysia called um, Penang. And our team's about 45 people. The company's bootstrapped, and we have 3 million users. Um, we went from zero users to 2 million users in 36 months. So it's been great growth. Um, most of the users are in the US and UK. So what I do for the company is kind of um, just engage our users and see how we can help them with the product and how we can support them outside of the web application. So this is the home page. And this is our team. Um, really proud to say that our um, founder and CEO is a woman. Her name's Ai Ching. Um, and we have about 45 people. Our team's page is pretty fun. Everyone gets excited about our funny photos. Uh, we have an awesome design team and development team in-house. And then remotely around the world, we have a, a handful of people in South America, some people in the US, and some people in Europe as well. Uh, these um, are some of our templates. So what you do when you go to pictochart.com is you're looking to create an infographic. And we try and make that as easy as possible. So we have over 400 templates and icons and photos that you can use um, to create something beautiful really quickly. Let's see. Okay. So I'll show you how you do that. If we want to do this one, and you can have a free account, which is what most of our 3 million users are, or you can have a paid account, and you can pay yearly or monthly. Um, we have special pricing for educators because we um, find that a lot of schools are using PictoChart. So instead of saying, okay, kids, go you know, write a paper about something, a five-page paper, teachers are starting to say things like, um, go create an infographic about it. Eugene, is this an internet thing? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so this is what happens when you first get in um, to the infographic. So as you can see, some things are laid out for you, ready to go, and then you would just change different um, sections of this, right? So if I'm not talking about American literature, but I'm talking about tea versus coffee, and I want to create an infographic about that, then that's what I would do. Um, and then you can change out any kind of blocks on here. Um, and what's cool too is you can go into presentation mode. So um, if we look at templates or um, infographics that our users have created, some of them use these as actual presentations. So you can create a long form infographic or you can create it like a presentation and it would be a replacement for PowerPoint. Sorry, the internet's kind of slow here. While that's loading, I'll tell you about something else that we're really excited about and what we see people use. And this is kind of um, kind of a hack that we're seeing is people creating infographics and then taking bite-sized pieces of that and creating lots of micro content. Um, so let's say a blogger is creating an infographic about the benefits of olive oil to use in a blog post. Um, sometimes that blogger will create this whole infographic and then take pieces of that and share it over the next 12 weeks on Instagram. Um, so that's kind of something cool that we've been seeing people do with it. Um, another thing that's pretty cool is that um, we have a blog that we're putting out content on all the time. Um, our designer tips series that was published in August is doing super well. So just kind of a tip for those who are launching startups, having a good content strategy is super important. It's been really valuable to us. And speaking of, 
our layout cheat sheet was done um, by our head designer, C. May, and that's been our by far most popular blog post. Um, so if you can create something that's valuable to people, um, that's huge. So this is basically saying, you know, look at these two different infographics and how with just a little bit of different formatting, you could really make your infographic a lot better. And here's a cheat sheet for ways infographics could look that make them look really professional and it's really easy. Um, so versus paying $3,000 for a designer to create your infographic, you could create it on your own with this cheat sheet. Jackie, you have about one minute. Okay. Okay. And then we're always hiring. Our team's been growing really fast. Um, so our careers page is always full. We're always looking for new people. And then um, we wanted to do a code for you guys for 30 days of pro. Um, we have our free version, like I said. Most people use that. We also have our pro version, which gives you um, more storage for your infographics and access to a lot more features. Um, so yeah, Pictotour Palo Alto is the code. We're doing user events all across the world, and this is our stuff in Palo Alto. Um, and then come see me after, and I can give you kind of instructions for how to redeem that. Um, and I can even just email it to you too. But the URL is magic.pictochart.com slash plans. And that's <coughs> when you would insert Pictotour Palo Alto. And I think I'm good if we want to start on questions. Thanks for having me. Thank you.